Hey up. Let me know if you can hear me alright. This is my first test stream on YouTube. in a minute I just want to post to yeah audio is all good thank you oh, I can't see your comment on my screen but I can see it on my phone so I might have to keep checking my phone which would be annoying um, good can hear me fine see me fine how's everyone doing I don't know why I can't get comments on the PlayStation. It worked on Twitch but not on YouTube, but you have to excuse me if I keep looking down at the laptop. Okay. Right, I'm going to get started. So you can probably tell and from my tweets and stuff Formula 1 car on Gran Turismo Sport and I'm going to kind of imagine if Mercedes were racing in the mid 80s which obviously they weren't for political reasons that I'm sure you all know about So I've got, I've actually made a folder of sponsors, so I'm going to try and keep the kind of, as much as possible, the logos that they have now, the sponsors that they have now, but obviously we're going to, we're going to have to go for Goodyear instead of Pirelli. Maybe stick a few classic sponsors on as well, just to make it look a bit more of the era. And much cooler, right?
Uh, most of the... So, yeah, Jack, most of the liveries that I do, I've got a massive collection, which I download a lot of them. But if I do need them, I've not got loads, but you can see I've done a few myself here. So, not all of them appear on Discover Annoyingly, so I've got a few that I made myself when I did. Obviously, the WTF1 logo wasn't on there, sadly. So, made them, made a retro WTF1 logo for the 80s car I did, if you've seen that before. And also, when I was doing Jack Aitken's livery, I had to import a lot of these on Photoshop because they didn't have them, so. Which was a shame, but it's not too much effort. But I find it easy just to download most of them because time. Yeah, if you go to Tommy WTF1 on Gran Turismo Sport. In fact, if uh, I'll show you very quickly. So, if you want to, I'll show I'll show you some of the liveries I've done so far. Just quickly before I carry on with this. is most quite slow and loud on uh, my PlayStation because I don't have the, the Pro. Is it called the Pro? PS Pro? So my library. Uh, so here are all the liveries I've done. And if you go into Discover, you can search under tags so for example this one and I've tagged everything as Tommy so if you search Tommy in the tags all my liveries will come up and then you just have to go through them so I've got this old school Porsche or my livery redesigns that I did at the end of last year and my latest is the Williams that you may have seen recently Right, let's get back to the Mercedes. Yeah, I've I've got a few so Oliver said making like the Mercedes Le Mans car, I've opened up a few windows and got some inspiration so I'm kind of going off that similar style it's definitely going to be inspired by the Sauber Sauber Mercedes because it's just an awesome looking car even though it's basically just silver with black end plates but it looks so damn cool So I'm going to try and stick to the livery as much as possible. Make it look like the 2020 car, but give it a bit of a more old school look, I guess. So I find with, I find with a lot of when, when people paint these old cars you can slap any kind of livery on it but it's nice to make it look of the era if you get what I mean 
I haven't done a mid 80s Ferrari, but I would like to. I'll see how this goes. If this goes all right, we'll uh, have a crack at a Ferrari as well. Patronus on there as well, but probably not so swishy as the uh, put anime babes on. No, the amount of uh, falls deliveries I used to see, like anime characters and stuff, they just look interesting, should I say. So I think the best thing to do with an 80s, mid 80s car is to make it quite subtle. I think it's going to be quite a basic looking car. But it will kind of be made by the sponsors, so sponsor placement is going to be key. As you can tell, I'm a massive nerd with liveries. Far too much thought goes into them, but it's good fun. Let's get them first. So I've actually got the old Patronus logo. I did my research and checked Because this kind of bub the more bubbly one is the one from the it was their first logo, so it's a bit more bubbly. Whereas now they've kind of modernised it a bit. It's got kind of straighter edges, and these things matter, honestly. All part of making it look authentic. So, how is everyone surviving without F1? Yeah, I did nearly change the sponsor, Oliver, to answer your question and do Agit, but I'm going to keep it Patronus, but it was tempting to maybe do Shell or Agit. Agit, is that how you say it? I, I genuinely don't know anything about <laughs> that brand other than the sponsor. 90s F1 cars like that one it's just it's a very 90s looking logo Uh, the game's Gran Turismo. Gran Turismo Sport, and this is just a livery editor built into the game. Which I do a lot more of than race. I, th I think I haven't even racked up 100 hours of racing yet, but have made nearly 100 liveries, and they take me well over an hour each, so. Oops! my favourite game 
is that? Do you mean racing game? Or just general? Uh, racing game. Difficult to say. Very difficult to say, actually. My childhood game was the Jeff Crammond Grand Prix games. Which, if you saw our WTF1 stream, I've shared some pictures of them. They were amazing games, and <laughs> this probably says a lot about me that I used to mod the Jeff Crammond games and make liveries on Microsoft Paint to um, using something called GP2 Edit, so you could essentially put your own livery in the game. I only used to mod it for each season and then have, uh, because there was an extra team, because I think there was 11 teams on it, so the extra team was uh, my own team that I made up and had me as the driver. So kind of like what the new F1 game is doing with the 11th team, which could be quite a cool idea. Hey, Tommy. I would say I'm so good at the delivery editor, but I do spend a lot of time in it, so that's probably why. I don't know whether to... Let's make the logo pop a bit more. But then it is 80s, so I kind of... In a weird way, I kind of want it to look shit. <laughs> Not shit, but if you think like designing does designing a livery, you want it to look of the era, so you don't want to add too many modern elements to it. Did my team? Yeah, yeah, my team had an orange car. In fact, what I did in GP2 is I edited the BMW Williams and instead of the dark blue just going over it, it was just orange and white. It looked quite cool. Still remember it. First livery. It's looking quite cool. make sure I duplicate this to the other side because otherwise it gets confusing. I saw someone said they're watching the 2012 season. That's a hell of a shout. I find F1, uh, the classic races, it pains me to say it, but some aren't as good as I remember. I don't know if anyone watched the um, 1996 Spanish Grand Prix, but it seems like a lot of old races are very much... You remember the good bits, you remember Schumacher overtaking Lacey and... Uh, Villeneuve and then nothing really really happens for the rest of the race right just gonna get some what else is on the Mercedes 
Epson. Yeah, I'm going to do some red. I've already designed Nikki's helmet. I don't know if you saw. I posted a picture on Twitter. I'm going to put Marlboro on it, I think, because it just makes it look 80s. There's something about it, isn't there? As soon as you stick this logo on, it just, it just makes it 80s. So I'm kind of keeping the theme of the 2020 car. So where they've got that red, what, what's the new sponsor they've got? It's like ISOS or something. Let me Google it. Say to use 2020 F1. Ineos, sorry. So I'm kind of keeping that red colour on top, if you like. But just sort of reimagining it as a as an 80s looking car, and 80s equals cigarette sponsorship. I might change it. I might I might just put Tommy Hilfiger on, but for now, it's going on. I see what you mean, Adam. It could be a bit cliche, but... I'll see how it looks at the end. Oh dear, what's that stripe? Oh no, it's just a shadow. My bad. One thing that is going to make it look 80 so straight away is old school numbers. So I was going to do Hamilton, but I thought it'd be fun to, and kind of a nice, nice thing to do to put Nicky Lauder. So I've got a nice bubbly font, which I think is pretty much straight off the McLaren. But it looks very much of the era, so I'm going to stick it right there because it looks cool. Back when you can actually read the numbers on the cars. Luckily the Epson logo is... Oh, I hate these paint glitches, look at that. So annoying. Um, luckily the Epson logo looks very sort of old school anyway. It's not really changed, it's very basic, so it kind of works, I think. annoying with all the livery glitches but I can get away with it with a bit of covering up there we go hopefully that's not covered it yeah go change the depth of the decal does that work I did see that but hang on Where is that setting? I've seen it before. I'll change it. 
Oh my god. So what does that even do? Ah, uh, okay. I get it. Thank you, Zero GT Racing. You have saved me many hours of hardship on <laughs> Gran Turismo Livery Editor. Oh, that's loads better. Thanks for that. Okay, this stream was definitely worth doing now. Sometimes the uh, I find it best to align it with the camera because otherwise you get really weird distortion. Right. Do we go with on the rear wing? I'm feeling the Mercedes logo. Looks kind of old school Mercedes Benz. Cool. I'm going to try it with the Patronus logo. Let me know what you think looks better. Maybe Patronus. Patronus or Mercedes Benz, what do you think? Yeah, I think Patronus, it works better, doesn't it? And it's a good excuse as well to get a bit more colour on it, I'm going to add. Just a bit of colour at the bottom. That looks good. Still looks kind of old school as well. Seems just boxy, boxy design just seems to work on 80s cars, doesn't it? That's cool. Right, let's get the as well. Yes, that's quite good. Did old F1 cars have many sponsors on the front wing? Let me have a look. I feel like they did used to put them on the front wing a lot more than they do now. Yeah, they do. There's like a... let's see. Starting to question the Marlboro logo now. Yeah, I don't think it works. I don't 
tell you what I did download. Is the Warsteiner logo. For some reason that just feels very Mercedes. Did they have a were they did they have a DTM car sponsored by Warsteiner? Or am I just imagining that? They did, okay good. Place Marlboro logo with what? What should I go with? Maybe West? Checking West would look good. Just a bit more. I think you're right. I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna download a West. Well, I guess they're sponsored by Tommy Hilfiger currently, but I don't feel like they'd be on a 80s car. Hugo Boss is more their kind of thing, isn't it? Uh, I've forgotten what logo I was putting on. Let's, let's save this and get a West logo because I feel like West would be a good shout. Yeah, I, Hugo Boss would look quite cool. I might download both and see which would look better, but... Hurry up. Right, I'm just going to go on Discover and... a couple of logos that I did not prepare for, sorry. So yeah, for anyone that doesn't know, you can search for pretty much anything. And there's a lot of stuff, so I, I mainly download all my logos, to be perfectly honest. Yeah, that looks cool. Get it in a few different colours because there was a 2000, uh, sorry, a mid 80s car sponsored by West, I believe. Was it um, Arrows? Or I can picture it in my head, but I can't remember which one it is. Go for see if Hugo comes up. There we go. It does look very of the era, doesn't it? Let's go back into the livery. Zack Speed, that's the one. Oh, hang on. 
just add them all to my folder. See, this is how many sponsor logos I have that I've downloaded. So I have to put them in folders because it's an absolute mess. So as you can see, all the livery redesigns I did, there's a lot. Okay. Not, there's something about the West logo though, it's just McLaren to me, it's just the Hackenden McLaren. Before I do that, someone made a good point, a nice big sponsor. Under there just makes it look the era. I know I've already got Patronus on it but I was looking at the McLaren and it kind of <laughs> it kind of worked that they they had the Marlboro logo in multiple places and it, there's something about it, it just looks kind of of the era. Um, right. Oh dear. Probably a quicker way to do this, but yeah, Ineos didn't exist in the eighties. I assume not. What? I don't actually know what they do. I'm there's so many sponsors in F1 that I just remember, I just know them because they're in F1, but <laughs> I don't know what they do, which makes you wonder whether it's worth it or not. There we go. That looks better. now because I don't know what to do there. Right, this is one of their current sponsors. I assume they've been around a while. It looks like a pretty old school logo. because it looks looks kind of of the era so nice oh you know what I'm going to put the Goodyear logo on the end plate as well because that just makes it look Thank you. 
change the oh my god absolute lifesaver whoever telling me about that depth thing good year it look mid 80s already okay what am I going to put here because uh, I don't know that Patronus looks nice though it just looks a bit plain at the top what can we put there I'm open to suggestions because mm. Oh, my TV's going to turn off. Hang on. about Ugh. see the Marlboro is cliche maybe this is cliche as well I did think about colouring the engine covering but I don't feel like that would look very mid 80s because I don't feel like Mercedes would do that like if you guys have been saying about the Sauber C9 I feel like they would have a main mainly silver I quite like that wall style, I think it looks very 80s, mid 80s. I can see, I could see a Mercedes F1 car in that era being sponsored by Warsteiner. I do like the West logo, but for me it's just too, it's just too McLaren. I just see McLaren and McLaren. Keep it black. So I'm gonna, yeah, you're right. I'm gonna look at the Salba C9. The Salba C9 is pretty plain, so I don't think it's too much of a problem that it looks kind of. Not basic, but maybe just a little simple. Is that other? No.
Out of there, do you think? Or there? I kind of like it there. Go with that one. How long does this take to finish? Um, I've done deliveries in an hour. I've done deliveries in <laughs> four hours sometimes depending on how indecisive and yeah it just, it just depends really I don't think this is too far off now to be honest <clears throat> just need to do the I think it's looking a bit bare as well because I've not done the front yet I think once I've got some logos on the front, it's going to look a bit more believable. number because it is the mid 80s and you can actually tell who the driver is because yeah I agree Ad. I think the the blank space makes it look a bit zero to be honest I think it'd be easy it would be very easy to over clutter it I guess and I think that would ruin it not make it look of the era so I think I'm going to stick with it um, right. sponsors shall I put on the let's have a look I feel like they're quite basic I know they do have a few sponsors so normally the title sponsor yep which I've got number engine manufacturer which will be Mercedes and what else is there on the nose Maybe another sponsor as well. I might add one more. Or yeah, yeah, I'm gonna uh, add. Oh, a nice rounded Goodyear logo. Thank you. 
cool. It's looking quite nice, I think. Uh, I've got IWC watch there. Yeah, so the game is Gran Turismo. Uh, Gran Turismo Sport, and this is, if anyone's joining now, it's the livery editor in Gran Turismo Sport. So you can paint any of your in-game cars, apart from the 2017 Mercedes, which is really annoying because it means I have to do all my livery redesigns on a Super Formula car. So that's why I do them all on Super Formula because it's the nearest thing to a modern F1 car but it would be so good if they just let you paint. I don't know I don't know why. I know it's sponsors and stuff, but what what do Mercedes lose if some guy has a Ferrari livery on his Mercedes? No one ever raced them online anyway, so... Ooh. Red number? I don't know if the red number makes it look too modern. What do you reckon? It doesn't go with the rest of the livery, but does it make it? Is it something you reckon Mercedes would do? Maybe. People like the red number. Yeah, they see they had they had the red numbers, didn't they? They when they came back in 2010, they did the whole red number. Let's see what it looks like in a. I feel like doing it in a white circle might be a bit much, but we'll give it a go because. Why not? Maybe it's something they would have done as a little tribute. Oh, it does look really cool actually. Ooh. Yay or nay? No to the circle, but keep the red. Yeah, I, I prefer... I can't decide. I think I prefer it without the circle. But it still looks quite cool in red, do you think? Question is... 
does that mean this has to be red now? Or keep that white? number on the front is just a little kind of reference. on because I can't remember who said it but I think it does look better bigger I might have to mess around with the oh it's like the camo ball accidental camo ball to be honest I changed the depth but it didn't seem to work so I'm going to just get rid of it Yeah, I think I will add an Austrian flag. In fact, it'd give a nice pop of red as well, wouldn't it? Let me just save this and I will... Wait, what am I doing? <laughs> I could just make an Austrian flag. It wouldn't be that difficult, would it? <laughs> oh, for God's sake. Frank wants to come up. Yes, he can come up. Get Frank. <laughs> Come on in. Ugh. Come on in. Ugh. Hello, mate. Did you miss me? Did you miss me? Ugh. Get down then. Stay there. You can stay there. We only came here for Frank. I'm used to it. It's the only time we ever got visitors before the uh, the lockdown. It was because of Frank. Uh. 
<sighs> right, Austrian flag is red, white, red. Wouldn't it be easier to add a white strip in the middle of a red box? Yeah, it would actually, wouldn't it? For God's sake. Never mind, it's what's done is done. I can make liveries, but I have no common sense apparently. Right, I think it's almost done. What am I missing on the other side? Yes. It looks kind of plain up, up top, but I think that it kind of works, right? It makes it look of the era. Uh, on reverse. Oh God, Frank, what are you doing? You you can't sit there. I'm not going to be able to. Use the controller. You just want to be on camera, don't you? And now he's on my headphone cable, so he's pulling my head into the wall. I might try something with the, the top before I call it a day, but... have we got good year I used Patronus just gonna put uh, 
Just a little stack of sponsors there, because they did that, didn't they? Uh, I'm not great at Photoshop, David. I've not really given it a go. I can use it to a point. I make all the WTF1 stuff, like social stuff on it, but it might be a bit complex to do livery design on it. But it would, it would be nice because it would be nice to do liveries on like any car I wanted like modern cars and stuff oh can't paint there apparently Oh no, yes you can. detail because I feel like random stuff like that I feel just there's a bit of realism to it maybe cool I'm I'm liking this I think it looks pretty cool I'm still unsure on the red number I'm just gonna put it back to black just for a I don't know, I'm so indecisive about <laughs> such a pointless thing, but I really don't know. Or white. Right, everyone, write in the comments now, red, black or white. Here are all the options. Turquoise looks terrible. White. Black. White or red. <clears throat> I think that's a pretty decisive vote for red. I'm losing my voice. <clears throat> I'm not used to speaking for an hour. Yeah, okay. Let's go with it. Okay, I think we're done. I think that looks pretty cool. What do you reckon? AMG was... Uh, see, I saw the AMG logo on a 90s DTM car. And it was this one, but I, I feel like... I don't know, that just looks quite modern to me, but...
This AMG a thing in that era? That looks kind of might look quite nice to have just a random swap to there then. Yeah, I, I think the AMG just makes it look too modern, maybe. <laughs> right, I'm going to save this. I'm going to have a look at it in... Uh, I'm going to have a look at it in the... Um, what do you call it? Scapes. Put Nicky Louder in it. Because I've done a... Nicky Lauda helmet design and we'll have a look what it looks like right we're gonna just have a final look at some pictures and then I'm gonna go but hopefully people enjoyed this something a bit different. I know a lot of people are doing sim racing at the moment, but I do not have a very working simulator. So do let me know if you want me to get, carry on doing these. Maybe give it another go sometime. I know I'm going to use this channel to put deliveries up, even if I don't do a live stream and I just time lapse it or something, so. So if you didn't see, in fact, I know what I'm going to do, I'm going to get rid of the Marlboro logo because he's not... I didn't go with that in the end. Let's just get the Patronus maybe. This is Nicky Lauder's helmet design from the mid 80s. Mercedes used to do they have like their star on the top like that They used to do that, right? I'm not imagining that, that they used to have the, uh... Yeah, Patronus logo. Oh, that's not very good. Maybe just that. Keep it simple. I do love classic helmets. There's, I just think that looks so much cooler than anything that is an F1 now. Apart from Vettel's, I do really like Vettel's. I sound like a proper boomer, but 
But I do prefer the old helmet designs. I think they're just... They look more classic. Louder's helmet actually from Nicky Louder 1985. Cool. Uh, right, I'm just going to change the overalls as well because getting rid of the Marlboro. Well that's a good idea actually I'm gonna just try that. Uh, yeah that looks that looks quite cool. Good thinking. I've never done a... I've not done this before, but it works quite well having you guys to help. Especially with my indecisiveness when picking certain things, so... It's fun to get suggestions as I'm doing it. gonna finish up then I'll take a picture and then we're done I was looking at overalls from this era as well and they're very basic they don't tend to have much on the uh, other than the top so I'm just gonna keep it simple Actually, because this is the most interesting thing to watch, which I'm conscious of, so we get it all day. Right, I'll take a picture. And then we're done. Thanks everyone for joining by the way, I do appreciate it. I didn't know how uh, how this would go down, so I'm glad. I don't like that. Just noticed that that War Steiner logo is a little bit too close. There we go. Ooh, ooh. 
Okay. Right. Let's take a picture. Yeah, I did try the red number. I did try the red number at the back. It did not look right, personally. I could try it again if you want to see it. But brr. I think we agreed that it looked better in white, even though it maybe looks a little bit weird. He's actually replied to the tweet. That's pretty cool. Okay, let's take a Pikachu. This is just one of the coolest things in the game. That you can take pictures. Right, we need an old looking track because everything will have the new hoardings and stuff which ruin it a bit, ruin the uh, kind of here we go that looks cool pleased with that do you reckon? Uh, the new team in F1 2020. I like the idea. I imagine it's going to be pretty basic in terms of what you can and can't do. Like I think I think it's a cool concept, but I doubt it's a full-blown livery editor like you say. I, I imagine it's going to be some defaults that you can just change the um yeah, fake sponsors, change the colours a bit. I mean, anyone that wants to do it properly on PC will mod it anyway. to find a good like generic track picture so we're going to take a picture of the driver in the car as well because I think it's going to look quite cool with the helmet design popping Nürburgring my least favourite circuit in the world They have let's go that. Yeah, I'm curious to know what they do about drivers for the eleventh team if you just add your own, maybe. Um, oh, how to do this again? Driver on.
remember how you... Oh, there we go. <laughs> Savage. Hayes. He made a joke of it as well, so... That looks really cool with Nikki's helmet in, actually. Good tracks are there to take some cool pictures. Yeah, Nurberg rings may be a little bit. <laughs> I wouldn't say inappropriate, but. I guess. There is spa, but. Does that have too many modern signs in the background? Oh, that looks alright. That. The Spa Media Center very much. <laughs> I've been in it and it is old school to say the least. Those rickety stairs. got any ideas for future designs let me know because I'd love to do this again not necessarily if people like the classic car go with the classic car or maybe something new on the uh, super formula maybe Helmet, don't you think? A modern arrows, that's a cool idea. I was thinking about now we've done the past, uh, well, modern team. I guess Mercedes didn't race in this kind of era, but um, done a modern team on a classic car, maybe time for a, a team that's no longer an F1. Arrows would be a good shout. If you listen to our uh, <laughs> WTF1 podcast from a while ago. Uh, well, actually, the most recent one that was all about arrows and how they got shafted. I'm very happy with this, actually. A modern Jordan, that would be cool. I think they have some of the best liveries. interesting to see what they'd be doing now. Probably have their own energy drink or something. 
not rich energy. that the apex? Probably not. It's wiggling quite a lot in the car. <laughs> it's a shame the uh... no Formula E cars aren't in it. I did think about doing a uh... Oh, modern 1986 Benetton, that is a hell of a shout. Because, uh, yeah, Benetton are still an F1, so, uh, sorry, do still exist, United Colours of Benetton, so maybe something with their new look. back to the top list because it is a it does look a bit old school I think you get some cool pictures there I'll just show you this I did paint the uh, X 2019 that was quite cool did a WTF1 livery on it. Let me know what you think. It's pretty cool. Um, we'll get back to the louder car. Where are you? Where's it gone? Why would it not just put it to the top when I've been taking pictures of it? Am I being blind? I can't see it. Oh, there it is. Uh, right, I'm not a Max fan. <laughs> I'm not a Max fan boy. No one ever believes, but people that ne have known me for a very long time will know that I used to race in a sim, uh, an online sim team. And I used number 33 as my number before Max Verstappen chose it. And I, ha I have picture proof that in 2000 and... It would have been 2011, all the way up until now, always I've had 33 as my number on virtual race cars so Max is just a fanboy of me clearly he's just inspired and what's even worse is you look back at them and they're all black and orange because obviously favourite colours orange arrows fan and now Max is driving around with a um, all his sim sim cars and they're black and orange number 33 so did it first just saying he's just passionate exactly right one more picture and then I'm going to go because doing a stream with Jack Aitken in a bit which I'm not jealous of at all because oh, I really wish my sim worked on my PC but oh well it's a good job I love this game
Oh wow, you can add film grain and all sorts. That would, uh, that would look quite cool to do like an 80s filter. take pictures actually of the driver in the car but I think this looks cooler actually because oh that's a cool angle I really like Nicky Lauda's helmet as well of the uh, I didn't realize how much he changed it but his kind of mid 80s helmet looks really cool right picture of this and then we are done. I just realised all the pictures is going 60 miles an hour. Which is not really F1 worthy is it but okay. Yeah, the picture mode is very addictive. It's uh, you can take some really cool stuff, and there's some people that do some amazing stuff on it. Right, I am done. Thank you very much, everyone who watched. I hope you enjoyed it, and yeah, let me know if you think I should do another one because I thought it was pretty fun. Do, and do, I know this makes me sound like a YouTuber, which I'm not, but do subscribe to this because I think I have to have a certain amount of subscribers before I can change the thumbnails and it annoys me because I want to be able to put nice pictures of deliveries on the thumbnails rather than crappy screen grabs, so cool. Alright then, thank you very much. Thanks everyone and speak to you soon and let's do this again sometime. Bye!